Recent Waterboat Geyser Steamboat Geyser, in the Norris Geyser Basin in Yellowstone National, is known around the world as the world's tallest active geyser. It doesn't erupt often, sometimes taking decades to become active again. However, when Steamboat does erupt, its water column can reach 300 feet in the air. And in 2018, Steamboat has had three eruptions, although they have been relatively small compared to previous events. Steamboat's first eruption since September 2014 occurred on March 15, 2018, starting around 5.30 a.m. local time. No one was present to witness the eruption, but the activity was detected by seismometers, temperature gauges, and water discharge at a nearby USGS stream gauge. Yellowstone National Park staff and several guides arrived at the site later and witnessed the steam phase of the geyser eruption. This is not unusual for steamboat. A powerful water eruption lasting a few minutes is followed by a steam phase that can last several hours. The release of water at steamboat caused the nearby cistern spring to dry up, also a common occurrence, and the ground around the geyser was filled with small rocks and mud ejected from the geyser. Based on seismicity, the geyser eruption was relatively minor compared to the massive 2014 eruption. Isn't done yet though. Another geyser erupted there on April 19th or 30 p.m. local time, again recorded by water discharge and seismic signals. After the March eruption, Yellowstone National Park geologists installed a temperature sensor at the steamboat outlet. The sensor recorded a 140 degree Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius, spike in temperature from the April 19th event. Too bad. No one was there to witness the eruption. The area is still closed to visitors until the snow melts and winter trail damage can be repaired. In fact, the Yellowstone National Park geologists left the area just 15 minutes before the geyser went live, unfortunately. Based on recorded seismic signals, the April 19th geyser eruption was stronger than the March 15th eruption, but still much smaller than the eruptions of 2013 and 2014. But once again, Steamboat is not done yet. The third eruption of 2018 occurred on the morning of April 27th. The activity appears to have begun around 6.30 a.m. local time, as determined by seismic data and water discharge. An observer, driving through the area around 8 a.m. also saw the activity. Recorded seismic signals indicate that the April 27th eruption was still much smaller than the eruptions of 2013 and 2014. But it was the largest eruption of Eene. For comparison, Steamboat's April eruption released about 200 to 400 cubic meters of water per eruption. That's about 10 times the size of Old Faithful's eruption. Steamboat's largest eruption like those in 2013 and 2014, more than doubled the volume of eruptions in April. This isn't the first time that Steamboat has had multiple eruptions in a single year. The geyser was also active in March, April, and October of 2003. This was during a period of thermal disturbance at the Norris Geyser Basin, when ground temperatures rose and new thermal features formed. There were also multiple geyser eruptions separated by days to weeks in the early 1980s. The website geysertimes.org, a database maintained by geyser enthusiasts, has a wealth of great information about activity at Steamboat, past and present. Does the current activity at Steamboat reflect new thermal disturbances at Norris? It's impossible to say now, but it will be something YVO scientists will be monitoring closely in the coming days, weeks, and months. The monitoring will involve not only on-site temperature sensors, but also satellite imagery of thermal activity and additional seismometers.
It is also possible that Steamboat is entering a period of more frequent but relatively small eruptions, as it did in the early 1980s. Alternatively, the current eruption may simply reflect the randomness of geysers. Most of Yellowstone's geysers are erratic, and do not erupt predictably, with a few notable exceptions, such as Old Faithful.